Tuesday. More on that in a minute. This all comes as Senate Majority Leader Dean Skelos is on the defensive tonight after several media reports saying he is under investigation by the U.S. Attorney's Office. The story first broke on WNBC in New York City and was then picked up by several others. In response, the Skelos office is saying, quote, last night's thinly sourced report by WNBC is irresponsible and does not meet the standards of serious journalism. Senator Skelos has not been contacted by anyone from the U.S. Attorney's Office. As such, we won't be commenting further. Now, the other big news today out of the Capitol, back to this speakership race, it seems inevitable now that Carl Heastie of the Bronx will be replacing Sheldon Silver. Joe Morelli, currently the second highest ranking member today, dropped out of the race and threw his support behind Heastie. Two other contenders did the same thing in the past couple of days, leaving only Assemblymember Kathy Nolan as an announced challenger. And again, word is there could be a vote maybe Tuesday instead of the 10th, as was scheduled. If Heastie wins, he says Morelli will remain in his number two post as majority leader. It has been a long week at the Capitol, the fallout from Silver's arrest, the jockeying for his speaker position, and now the Skelos News. Jennifer Lukey live tonight in our Capitol Newsroom. And Jen, none of this doing much to help public confidence in the legislature. Yeah, unfortunately, that's right, Greg. The, it's budget season. The legislature is supposed to be deciding on bills that will impact all of New Yorkers. Instead, there's a lot of closed-door meetings, hushed conversations, and behind-the-scenes lobbying. Who should succeed you, sir, as Speaker? The last week has been a whirlwind of scandal and secrets, and none of it has helped the already tarnished reputation of the state's capital. This was more like an episode out of the Netflix series House of Cards. Uh, the political machinations, the... Uh, allegations back and forth, the behind the uh, closed doors scheming. Um, it really was sort of pol a political theater on a grand scale. But while the acts were playing out, work on behalf of the taxpayers wasn't getting done. Entire days canceled and dealt with politics rather than uh, what are fairly pressing policy needs for the state. When the king falls from grace, there's a big fight uh, on royal succession, and that's what's been playing out ever since. It appears the game may be over as a front runner has emerged. Now it's time to get to work. The process will continue, the hearings will continue, the assembly will straighten itself out in whatever form it does, but it wouldn't surprise me one bit if the ultimate budget that comes out of this process is sort of the, the bare bones budget that doesn't have a lot of additional bells and whistles. Potentially, this might be an advantage for Republicans in these dealings because they have an experienced leader who's going to be in that room, uh, whereas Democrats are going to have a new leader who is just sort of getting their feet wet. To get the budget done on time, while Albany's political establishment is completely distracted by the U.S. Attorney's Office, it seems hard to believe that they can process all that at one time. Now, just to reiterate, moments ago we learned that Sheldon Silver has resigned, submitted his resignation letter for the speaker position as of 11.59 p.m. on Monday. He is not stepping down at this point as a member. Remember, the rules say unless you are convicted of a felony, you do not need to give up your position in the state legislature. But that means Albany uh, Assembly Democrats could vote on a new speaker as soon as Tuesday. We, of course, will continue to monitor the situation at the Capitol and bring you any developments as they unfold. For now, live in the Capitol Newsroom, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News.